So recently I was uh, given a question and I wanted to uh, talk about it basically real quick and then I'm gonna get out y'all's way. I started on a beat and the question was dealing with 16th note triplets. 16th note triplets. Now I've already covered that topic on my NPC 2000 XL, but I'm going to cover it right now in Logic. And if you don't have Logic, I'm sure you can still apply this. It doesn't matter what type of software you have, but I'm using Logic, so that's what I'm going to go with. So the question was, how do you use 16th note triplets for arpeggios? And I'm going to give you two ways. One is just the manual way, and the second way is just using arpeggios. Okay, so let's first talk about the manual way. So it's very simple. I'm going to pull up some drum sounds. Okay, cool, cool. So I want a drum feel for this. Let's say we have some drums. Let's, let's, let's go with this, let's go with this. Why not? Right, and we wanna put a drum feel right there at this bar right here. You know, something like that. <laughs> of course, that's not a 16th note triplet, but like, like something like that, all right? So we're gonna use this on toms because to me that, that's a great way to do a drum feel is using toms. I think toms are dope, but you can also use this for hi-hats, you can use it for snares, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna use it on a tom. So I like this Neo Soul Tom. This is a stock plug-in. I like the toms. All right, cool. So, all you're gonna do is, first of all, you're gonna draw in a MIDI. So let me erase this, let me start from scratch. Control click, you're gonna create a MIDI region like that, right? And then you can make it, you know, just stretch it out if you want to. But we're just gonna do like this last couple of bars. This is like a four bar loop, but we're gonna do just the last few. Actually, this is a two bar loop. So actually, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna start it right here at 10.3, so right there. So let's just go ahead and split that so we can know where we at. So all you do is you take your brush tool, right? Right, usually it's on pointer, but we're gonna use the brush tool, right? And then you're just gonna draw in the sounds. So like I said, we're gonna use toms. So my high tom is on this D note. Okay, and we're gonna use 16th note triplets. So you come over here to the left and make sure it's on 16th note triplets. Click on it. And now every note that I drag is gonna be a 16th note. So we'll do something like this. And then maybe we can go further down, do another sound. Let me see. Something like that. A lower tom and maybe a lower one, let's see, something like that. All right, so now let's see what that sounds like. There you go, just that simple. So that's a nice little drum feel. And all I did was use 16th note triplets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just draw in the brush tool like this. I'm just drawing it in there. And I can actually change the swing of this too. So I would hit man A, that selects all the notes, and then I can adjust the swing on the left. So see this? I can do this. Right now it's at 0%. This is what it sounds like at, let's say 50%. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I actually like that, so I'll keep it there. So that's at 50% swing. There you go, there you have it, very simple. I was asked how to do this, so I'm, I'm just showing y'all. This is one way, this is the manual way. The second way I'm gonna show you is using the arpeggio. It's very, very simple. Let's go ahead and use those same sounds. And this time around, I'm gonna to go to another track with the same drum kit, and we're gonna to go to the left and use an arpeggio or arpeggiator. You see where it says arpeggiator? So you're gonna to go to your MIDI section. This is where your MIDI controls are. You're gonna turn that on and then click on arpeggiator. 
and this is what pops up and what you're going to do you're going to choose i already have it on 16th note triplets but you can use any kind that you want but we're we're just dealing with 16th note triplets and i like using this way because all i have to do is hold down my keyboard so i'm on my keyboard as y'all can see <laughs> so i just hold down the key right And whatever key that I press down is going to play that note in the 16th note triplets. And I can change the velocity. I could change the swing. I just like to keep it at 50%. And then let's go ahead and play it. See what it sounds like. Let me mute the other one that I just recorded and then just use arpeggiator. Watch this. Let me do that again because I didn't know where I was. <laughs> One, two, three. See that? Simple. One, two, three. And like I said, you can use it on hi hats. Snare. Clap. Let's record that. Try it again. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so I did it in two different spots. So what I could do is just drag that down here like so. And then here we go. One, two. One, two, three. There you go. That's a nice drum feel. And that's just me using 16th note triplets. All right. I hope that was helpful. It's your man, Jay Field. I'm sitting in peace and positive energy.